to me, there are basically three pillars I can cover in this time. One is that ultra-wide field imaging is becoming the standard of care. Number two, that the use of smart data will be driving efficiency in the practice. And lastly, patient access to specialized care will uh, expand beyond the traditional office. So I like to start uh, with understanding the problem. And I think we all understand the challenge that practices will face in the very near future. We know that between 2010 and 2030, the number of people above the age of 65 will double. So therefore, incredible burden on a practice. Of course, healthcare systems, if they're not in crisis today on a global basis, will be. And of course, the, sh uh, the stakeholders and, and where the money is going to be spent, who's going to control that, is under great pressure. And of course, the patients are going to play a bigger and bigger role in their healthcare in the future. The, of course, we're all here today because we also believe that there's rapid innovation that can occur that actually can help, and there's a great opportunity here. So when we want to understand the future needs in ophthalmic practices, we have to really think about what we refer to as meaningful innovation, not innovation or technology for the sake of technology, but really talking about innovation that can really drive efficiency in the way the practice is running, but effectiveness to be able to create that care for that patient, even though the doctor has less time to do it. So here's an example uh, in the first pillar, ultra-wide field uh, imaging. This is an automated uh, montage off a of spectral domain, uh, cirrus angioplex. Um, with the r driving rise for diabetes, the need for wide field imaging uh, and taking uh, non-invasive approaches can be done with angiography, being able to see a large view, so therefore the doctor can see something they didn't see before, but also that these images can be taken much quickly, very quickly. Here's uh, uncompromised true color, the Claris 500. Uh, you see no lids or lashes, nothing getting in the way for the doctor to quickly be able to assess the condition of the patient. Um, seven fields have been, uh, is the gold standard, but as you can see, many times in practices that's not done. It's more for clinical studies, and a device like this can really quickly give you the level of image quality that you need. Here is uh, what could be the future. On the left side uh, is a Plexelite second generation 200 kilohertz swept source image. OCT angiography that would be co-registered with a color image uh, on the right side. So therefore, again, in the management of diabetes, really being able to quickly take these images less than a second and being able to get an incredible amount of information. Now, it's great that we're doing all these things in imaging. Guess what? A swept source uh, data set is about more than a gigabyte. Uh, so that much data for a doctor to look through becomes overwhelming. So of course, we're going to be looking at things like uh, analytics, where you can start to see uh, changes in microvasculature. Uh, and, but I think that's not where it's going to stop. Think about what we do in glaucoma today with progression analysis, and um, you'll see the same thing happen uh, in this area as well. Here's another thing that's available today, the retina workplace, where in one image or one view, you can see multiple uh, visits to the patient, the progression overlaid with injection history. So these are the types of things that you need quick access to, allowing the doctor to provide excellent care for their patient, but also um, being able to do it quickly. Here is the OR, uh, rescan in the OR today, but in the future you'll see what we do in cataract, where you see Callisto being in and, and preoperative data being pumped into the OR as well to help in the effectiveness of, um, of surgery. And then lastly, AI. AI is a big topic, machine learning. Uh, great dreams about what it'll be, but sometimes you gotta take small steps. Here's a, just a simple example, large data set, just highlight what the doctor should look at and not have to look at uh, several images uh, to try to assess that. Expanding the reach of the patient, we really do believe uh, that this is going to happen, especially with the, the, with, with the crunch, if you want to call it that, on the office. Far too many patients come in the office, so we're going to see an extension of scanning patients with multiple technologies away from the office, being able to evaluate those in a cloud-based application, and being able to ensure that the right patient gets to the right doctor at the right time for the right treatment. And so, when you think about all this change happening, and it's tough to do in six minutes or less, um, I think what's really important is understanding how do we drive innovation. And uh, 
uh, Zeiss pioneered the Advanced Retinal Imaging Network a couple of years ago, where we decided to, instead of keeping technology in a laboratory, to really put cutting edge uh, technology in the hands of researchers and clinicians, working closely with scientists at Zeiss to ensure that we can develop the products that are needed in a clinical setting. A perfect example is swept source technology. We believe there's gonna be three to four generational changes in swept source technology before it's ready for prime time. Why? Because you need to find the right intersection between clinical value and cost. And we haven't reached that yet, but this global network of physicians and researchers are helping us do that. So we really look forward to uh, continuing to have an impact in imaging. We're, we're excited to be the leader in this area, and, and we really believe that we're gonna see a, a big change for patients in the future.